We've done long planes, we've done planes with mini wings, but we've never combined the two to make a triple triplane. This is a Caproni CA60. History is often full of weird airplanes. We're gonna build one of them. The thought process behind the Caproni CA60 was more wings equals more lift. So we're gonna build all of these wings to create all of this lift. Because this is supposed to be a transcontinental ocean liner, the first of its kind, and carry over like 100 people or something. Anyways, if you wanna see a really cool video on this, check out Mustard here. They actually gave me the inspiration to build this thing. I'm really taking a guess here because right now the whole purpose of this model is to figure out where the center of gravity is. Who cares? Why CG? Why does it matter? Why this weird airplane? Well, looking at this airplane, I can see that it has a big middle section. It's got a front wing, a middle wing, and a back wing. And if I had to take a guess, Caproni back in the day put the CG right in the middle of all the wings since all the lift should be in right in the middle, right? So that's what we need to find out because the CG is so important for all of our airplanes either determines whether they fly stably or they crash and burn on takeoff. Oh, it's wonky. I don't know if I'm gonna get this back down or not. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We're in trouble here. I have to figure out how to get it down. Not hitting car. Oh, that was close. It's so heavy. So we need to get a lot more nose lead on it. So I got a 3 8 inch ratchet. We're gonna use to balance the airplane. Wow. <laughs> okay, now the landing. So we confirmed that it actually flies now, but I do want to see if it floats. Fun fact, the real one actually did fly, but there's no recorded footage of it flying, at least that I've found. It supposedly made 60 feet off the ground and then shortly impacted the water after that. I think it may have something to do with the CG because of the test flight we did, we figured out where the CG is supposed to be. So I moved it and then I also moved the floats in accordance to that where I think it should be and we're gonna fly it and see if it actually flies off the water. It's a little soggy looking, but we're gonna try to put it in the water and see if it can actually take off the water like the real one. Ta-da! Look at that. Oh no, don't tip over, don't tip over. All right, I'm gonna punch it. Ha <laughs> it flies! Off the water. This thing flies terrible. Flying the Caproni over this lake is like stepping back in time, except for the actual crash of the real thing. But if you want to step back in time yourself and fly some super realistic aircraft, then check out War Thunder, our sponsor for this video. Whether you're into mastering the sky, seas, or ground with over 2,500 realistic vehicles, War Thunder has got you covered. With stunning graphics and attention detail, every battle feels truly immersive and authentic. War Thunder is also free to play. You can hop into the seat of your favorite plane, tank, or ship and join over 70 million players worldwide and experience the thrill of epic player versus player combat. With such a wide range of military content to discover, this game is a must play if you like anything military harbor related. One neat feature about War Thunder is you don't need any extra hardware to play this game. Just your mouse and keyboard will play this game. However, if you're like me and you're an RC enthusiast, chances are you've probably got an RC controller. I'm playing War Thunder with the Radio Master Pocket and using it as a flight sim. You can even customize your vehicles and choose a game mode that suits you, such as arcade for a fun, fast-paced experience, to a simulator mode for a full-fledged challenge, and a realistic mode which blends these two styles of play. Team up with friends to conquer the battlefield, 
with the playstyle that works for you. The possibilities are endless. Play War Thunder now for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. Use my link in the pinned comment or video description to sign up. New players and those who haven't played in the last six months will also receive a massive bonus pack on PC or consoles that includes multiple premium vehicles, the exclusive vehicle decorator, Eagle of Valor, 100,000 Silver Lions, and seven days of premium account access. Available for a limited time, so don't miss out. Now, let's fly back to the lake. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, so ends the uh, Caproni CA60. The battery has died and I flew for too long. It's kind of like the real thing, <laughs> except upside down. Oh, it's yeah. like sinking. Oh, it's sinking. What are we sinking about? <laughs> All right, I should probably unplug it before it catches on fire. <laughs> With the end of the Caproni CA60, we shall build it even bigger. It's the annual Flight Test Flight Fest event. It's the 10 year anniversary and we're gonna exploit a bunch of child labor to build this giant mega airplane. I've got all these kids cutting, gluing, and trying not to burn themselves on hot glue and I'm gonna use them to build this plane. We have all these pre-cut parts that I made. I really just took the design I had and blew it up almost double. 1.8 to be exact. You know what's better than one Italian airplane? A bigger Italian airplane. Pretty big. We're unfolding all these wing panels, all 18 of them. The wings are going really, really well. The kids have not gotten burned that badly. Watch your eyeballs. Now we're going to make some jigs to hold this wing in place and I'm gonna really use all these hands I have to hold the wing in place while this glue cures. It's really, really hot outside so this really sucks and it's making it really difficult to do all this hot gluing because hot glue needs to cool down. But when it's 95 degrees outside, this is this is not optimal. So we got flying wires in one of the wings. That's the strength. It's like we're, we're old airplane rules here. It's also an entanglement hazard for all the other airplanes that play with it. One of the super unique things about Flight Tests Flight Fest is all of these kids, they just are itching to build this airplane that I'm going to fly into the ground and they get a watch. But they love every year so much. Like look at last year's event. Flight Fest is actually known for a lot of crazy builds and all sorts of aerial contraptions. Like look at this thing, this is Nicholas Ream giant spinner copter thing, who has a YouTube channel you should check out here. Check this out, this is Michael Recton's motion chair simulator thing. Turn left, okay, we're going right. Really, really cool, I actually wanna build one of these, but I wanna, I wanna put it on a boat instead and uh, have a boat simulator, because that'd be really fun to run it in the waves. The foam board is actually a little crooked, so we're gonna make it work. <laughs> this is what happens if you get unpaid volunteers to build the airplane. This plane is looking pretty shoddy, but I'm pretty sure it'll be just fine. Next, electronics. I'm going to use the same configuration I used on the small test model. So we're going with the front aileron canards and the rear elevator ailerons or elevons. Canarderons and elevons is what I'm calling it. And for power, we've got Sunny Sky hooking us up with these electric motors. Oh, motors look, available it's shiny. The link down in the description. Very nice. Then we have some flight test motors on the back side. I used two really big ones on the front and two really small ones on the back. Because once again, the small model told me that the center of gravity is nowhere near the middle. It's in the front, like front half of the plane. So let's make it front heavy. That's really cool. Yeah, it's got a lot. That's really cool. All right, we're gonna smash this plane in a million pieces, but not yet. First, it's a test flight. I think with all the data I've got, I'm going to balance it right here, and then we're gonna put this thing in the air, and hopefully it all goes well. well I only have about an hour till combat, so I need to make sure it flies good now before I put it in the giant demolition derby in the sky. Okay. Hang on. 
lost him, he's good. You got this, man. All right, it's going, it's live. I'm at half throttle. Are you serious, yeah. you're half throttle? A little, maybe above half throttle. This is not bad. It's doing good. Yeah, it flies. All right, that's officially <laughs> probably better flying and longer flying than, than the original. Than the original, for yeah. sure. Test flight success. Giant Caproni Italian airplane in large mega scale size. Works great. Now time for the fun part. It's time for the destruction derby. All right, they're all getting ready to launch. Okay, it's time to send it. We're gonna send it. There's so many big airplanes up there. <laughs> Planes are crashing. All right, it's flying. I don't really know what I should do. Like, I could probably run into Michael's giant spinny copter thing, but uh, it's going to be bad for both of us. I really want someone to cut me in half. Oh, well, some planes are hitting this thing, but no one's hit it really good just yet. stuck on my left half right now and it's really making it hard to fly this thing it's actually kind of dragging me down to the ground okay firewall full throttle full throttle come on come on come on Combat flight test demo derby, kind of a failure. Plane has just crashed. Hey, hey, get up, the reason get why? Because someone hit me, stuck to my control services, blocked all the airflow, and the plane just kind of like, eh, and then it crashed. Plane is still one piece. I'm very disappointed with the flight test pilot here. They're supposed to break me into millions of pieces. Not tangle me, make me land. So the plane is still intact, so we'll probably just throw it and see what happens. So I don't really have time to really fix it. If we're gonna throw it, I'm gonna do loop de loops and rolls and probably crash it. <laughs> Alright, we built this really big airplane, but also I have to give a shout out to all the kids that made this thing possible. Here's a small sampling of the free labor I've gotten, but there's plenty of labor around here to go around. <laughs> Flying again. All right, well, we're flying around. I'm gonna do a loop. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna do a loop. We're gonna do a loop. Here it comes. Nose down. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> 
That's a half-baked loop, but it's a loop. All right, let's go again. I'm gonna push it into a nose drive and try to pull out the last second. It's actually not pulling out very fast. I don't think I like the loop. <laughs> Man, not like the loop. Well, that's a good conclusion. <laughs> Caproni CA60. A relic of history. I, I, I didn't work on my speech. Cut. <laughs> You got the front. Oh, that is some epic damage. I'm gonna tilt it up. Okay, now I can pack it up and go home. So this is definitely the largest RC Caproni CA60 that's probably ever been built and probably will ever be built because it's a terrible flying airplane. Honestly, I don't know where you're gonna put this thing if you build it. It's massive. <laughs> this triple triplane is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> we got a royalty-free ukulele music, and then we have an airplane. Uh, what do you guys want? You guys built it. You, you wanna? You wanna? Alright, have fun! Certainly it for these Capronis. But, again, thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to play for free on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox now by using my link in the pinned comment or video description below. New and returning players that haven't played in the last six months will also receive massive bonus packs across all platforms, including multiple premium vehicles and other goodies. Available for limited time only, so make sure not to miss out on it. Ta-da! Caproni CA-60! It actually is a decent-ish boat airplane. No, it's actually terrible.